Toongrin.com So are we supposed to meet Harold and Obnoxious here? I think so, but is it just me or does this room seem trappy? Looks like they're about to become a reviewing sandwich. I think we're about to become murderers. Meh. Welcome again to Spooky Corner and our look at Resident Evil Degeneration. Resident Evil Degeneration basically ties in loosely with the games, but it has some connection to it. Basically, there's a lot of zombies in this film. It's basically another one of those zombie flicks that you'd expect to see, but it has a lot more action than any other zombie flick would ever have, in my opinion. Following the events of Resident Evil 2, we skip ahead a few years to find that the always super evil Ultra Umbrella Corporation has dissolved and, and a new corporation, Wolf Pharma, has taken its place as the central focus for protests, which we see all throughout the beginning. Basically, everything seems like it is going okay so far, despite that, but uh, eventually a zombie outbreak uh, starts at an airport, and of course two staples of and veterans of the series, Claire Redfield and Leon Kennedy, make themselves uh, apparent in, as they face off against the hordes. Now, basically, a new zombie outbreak and Masterbind become apparent, and of course, these two characters have to stop the T-Virus, which of course breaks out, and they have to prevent it from spreading so that there's no other Resident Evil-like event would occur, of course. And speaking as, like, I played, like, Resident Evil 4, and I really liked it, so Leon Kennedy is my sort of, sort of character, because he's a super badass zombie shooting guy who saves the president's daughter and all that sort of stuff. And this story does have some ni nice things to it. The animation is pretty good for like movie standards, but I would have to say the animation is good, but not refined. I agree with that. I mean, what is the deal with Leon's um, emotions? I mean, he always has the same expression for everything. Happy, sad, angry, mad, hungry, horny. They're all the same expression. It just never changes. And that just kills the movie because that it shows no character from Leon. And that could actually translate to every other character who has no sort of character to them. I don't know about that. They have character, they just don't express emotion well enough. The best way to explain this movie in terms of its animation is Resident Evil Cutscene, the movie. Yeah, this could have been a good cutscene sort of movie. It's just that those expression animations needed to be there. How dare you say that about it? I could just picture a freaking Resident Evil troll saying this. Do you even know that it, Leon is so badass he doesn't even have to express emotions because emotions are for pussies? Uh, yeah, yeah. But, but characters I need those emotions. That's what makes characters. We don't want just a badass just hopping around like fighting zombies. We want someone that actually has flaws, that actually has some strengths and weaknesses to him. And Leon can have those things. The sequel movie actually shows that, which we will discuss some other time. But focusing on this movie, the story itself is that t typical Resident Evil story. Outbreak happens. Stop the outbreak. Oh no, look, it's the super evil mastermind. That's totally obvious. And then big evil zombie comes. <laughs> oh yes, and a big evil zombie menace, which is basically just a skinnier, uglier version of the... What was the name of that one? Oh yeah, that's right. The tyrant from Resident Evil uh, Umbrella Chronicles. Yeah, that game. It really did not add up well for that character. I mean, he did not look good enough. His nemesis could crush that guy. He's such a G-motor, too. And, and what about the dumb decisions made by a lot of the characters? Yeah, what dumb decisions were there, Gen Vamp? Let's see, constantly getting mad and overly freaking out about a lot of things. I, I mean, seriously, she hesitates to even shoot or attack this monster. Getting mad just because zombies are being attacked or whatnot by the series staples, mainly him. Because Claire Redfield is mostly useless, but you get what I'm saying. Yes, I get what you're saying. It's like, people should know about this already. Zombies are a fact now. So people should not be like, oh, oh, oh no, this zombie's coming at me. Shoot the legs, shoot the legs. Yeah, they're oh, like no. too scared. 
<laughs> no, shoot the head, you idiots. Yeah, th this movie just seems like a lot of wasted potential. Like with Claire Redfield, she doesn't she doesn't do anything. She has to like protect this little girl who I don't really know who who the little girl is Neither. in context with her. <laughs> She's just supposed to be like this freedom fighter for the one of the protest groups, Terra Save. But she really doesn't do anything. She takes out some zombies one time, and then the next time we see her, she kind of gets pushed out of the entire movie by getting a piece of glass in her leg. Another thing that really sucks is, uh, well, actually, that, that leads to one aspect that sucks. That's what I mean. Claire is actually one of the playable characters in the Resident Evil games. In Resident Evil 2, I believe she's playable. Yeah. And she kicks loads of zombie ass. So why the hell does she not get the chance to do any of that here? Uh, degeneration is just wasted potential in a lot of ways. It ha it could have some good animation, but it needs to be refined. The story could be fine if it just buffed out a few of the stupid things. Like that whole, like, love subplot between Leon and the main police lady. Like, look at this scene right here. Look at the love between them as they hold hands and have no expression on their faces. They, they should do that more, correct, but it's a lot more watchable and pays more homage to the source material than the live-action films. So I can't exactly say that uh, Degeneration is worthless. It has some flaws to it, yes, but I at least can consider it a good movie. I can consider it a passable movie in a lot of respects. Like, I haven't seen the live-action movies, so I can't really speak to any sort of authority on them. I'm just saying, as this movie goes, if you're into Resident Evil, it's a harmless little watch. Anyone else, it's a harmless zombie movie watch as well. Just without the lack of expression, you just ha have like a very harder time connecting with this character and story. This is all I'm saying. However, since it pays homage to the original source material, I'd say that it's definitely more interesting for not just old Resident for any Resident Evil fan, but new ones wanting to be interested. Granted, there are some flaws, yes, but then again, let's not forget that a lot of that was really appealing back then. It has some old values and charms that I like about it that remind me of the really old action films like Rambo, Robocop, and Terminator. Albeit the character, some are more overpowered, like Leon, but then again, uh, things eventually do get out of hand. In a sense, it's kind of like a parody, but at least it's not Resident Evil 6! Uh, but yeah, that was Degeneration. If you're a fan, check it out, we both say that. It's a basically more harmless to good watch.